Um, so I ask a lot of questions. How did they recover from their previous concussion? Did it take a long time? Was it a short amount of time? How, how recent was it? How close in time frame? What have they been told? I want to know what has been told to them. Um, you know, who's involved in that return to play decision? Because, you know, there's no guidelines specifically. We don't have a CPG specific to this question, but, uh, you know, it kind of falls to everybody's decision to include the patient, the family, the sports medicine physician. You know, there might be others involved in that team. So I want to know a lot of information. Um, and so, it, you know, it's very variable. I have some people that have had multiple concussions, but they respond really quickly. And we, this is where I think we're lacking in objective data in, in clinical practice. So us that are out there seeing these patients to say truly has their higher level neuromotor control system really returned to where it needs to be, or be, you know, have they had a subsequent injury risk because we're, we're not testing at the highest potential of all of the systems working together. Um, and so that's where I think gap right now that we need more dual tasking. We need more higher level neuromotor control, reaction time, postural control, and decision-making cognitive, right? At the same time, because look at what our athletes and look at even, you know, think about somebody who's in a factory working on the line who has to have this precise speed of reaction time to put what they need to right in the part. So I think, you know, that's kind of where we need to move in the future. And I know lots of great researchers out there, as well as those who are on this call are working at that. So that's exciting to see where we're going to be in the future.